living a balanced life is very important the moment you neglect one area you're gonna suffer within yourself so life in itself there's different segments different categories you've got the physical side which is basically your well-being your physical mental well-being you have mental in terms of like your mindset and your perspective spiritual can be conceived as like your religion or your belief your ex existential beliefs and then we have financial so physical mental spiritual financial a lot of people focus strictly on one area or maybe two areas maybe a person focus only on money let me get my money money is the most important thing and then by focusing all your attention on money you might do this by working overtime working 16 hours a day eight hours a day you know and then that comes at expense of other areas maybe Physically, you're not working out, you're not taking care of yourself. Mentally, you're not learning new things or improving your mindset. And maybe spiritually, you're neglecting your beliefs or wherever that may be. So then if you focus all your attention to the finances, then the other areas are going to be suffer. So maybe a person might focus their attention into the physical. You know, let me get in great shape. Let me get a good physique and that. Yeah, just about looking good and, you know, being well, the like health and well-being, which makes sense. But then if you neglect finances, if you neglect your spiritual sense of life, then you're suffering in that uh, uh, department. So look at it like a, as a chart. You got one, two, three, four. If one area is really high and you put one area really low, there's an imbalance within your life and you can suffer mentally. You can suffer within yourself for that reason. That's why it's very, very important to have a balance. Okay, physically, you're taking care of yourself by going to the gym and eating healthy. At least, you know, if, you, if you're doing that daily or as often as you can, then at least, you know, you're improving in that sense. Mentally, you know, you're improving your state of mind, maybe on a self-improvement journey, you're reading books, you're listening to podcasts, talking to different people, you're enhancing your thinking and perspective, mindset spiritually connecting with your belief system whether that is your religion whether that is in i don't know whatever you believe in in the karmic cycle or just your your overall perspective of life or the afterlife and then financially you go into work or you're working on your business so once you're doing for like something in them areas every single day you live a well balanced life but the moment you neglect an area like health or your physical or your mental or spiritual and you focus only on one area then you start to see problems in your life and that problems within yourself conflict of interest within your own self as well you understand that's why it's very important to live a well balanced life you know so everything comes at a price that like you might if you focus all your attention on finances you might get your money up and that but that, that may come at expense of your health you might have some health issues or defects whatever you want to call Call it so knowing this you have to simply make a choice and simply analyze it and say what what is important for me and how do i balance everything you see life really is about balancing it's not just about being all in on one thing it's about balance how can i stay stable how can i be you know suffice for myself you understand and you can only do this by reflecting by understanding this perspective a lot of people don't look at life like that physical mental spiritual financial people just look at it as life just let me just live let me just do what i need to do and focus on one two things most people only focus on one maybe two it's rarely to see some a person who's strong or prospering in all four different elements but at the end of the day if you're living this life you want to be the best you the best you can't just have money and be out of shape the best you can't be in shape and suffer mentally you have to have everything and you have to look at what can I do to improve in each, each one of these departments. And once you do that, then you find yourself more at peace, more in harmony. There's a lot of people who are really rich, super millionaires, but they're drug addicts. So does that mean that it's a good life? You, you have millions, but you're a drug addict, you're suffering with, with physical or mental problems. A lot of people say, you know, great shape, great physique, but then they're broke, they're struggling to, to get by and they are, you know, a lot of people who are spiritually very high, you know, maybe they're gurus, maybe they're pre uh, imams or pastors or I don't know, esoteric teachers, whatever you consider spiritual, but then their finances and over the health is like, you know, you, you get where I'm coming from. So I'm only sharing a perspective. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm sharing a perspective. You have to look at the wide range of departments there are in life and that and choose what 
is important, which is all of them. You know, we can't say health is not important. We can't say money is not important. You can't say the spiritual is not important. Realizing that all of these things are important and doing something about it in order to better yourself. Because really, when you look at it, once you better yourself, that's how you can help other people. Your family members, your children, society. It comes from what you, what you, where you take yourself is where you can take other people. You can't take somewhere where you've never been. If you're in shape, it's easy for you to take, put, help someone else get in shape. So you, we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to society, we owe it to God or the Creator to be the best of ourselves and that. And it's very difficult, it's very time consuming, you know? But what is the alternative? That's the question I have for you. What is the alternative?